Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Komi Can't Communicate episode number 11. Okay, the previous episode, um, we met two new characters, um, Nesuno-san and Onimine-san. Uh, we met Nesuno-san in the sports festival, uh, where we, like, you know, where we can see that Nesuno is a little bit obsessed with, um, people's temperature. Not temperature in the literal sense, but, you know, how much determined they are or how much, you know, hot, like, they're, like, you know, the temperature of the soul or something like that. <laughs> that you know like that's why like you know when Komi at the beginning she was like oh Komi you are very cool huh? isn't it and everyone else was like you know so excited for the sports festival Komi was just as usual stoic and quiet so she was like oh you're very cool but when in the end you know Komi falls down and she gets up and then starts running again that's when she says that no you you're burning you're hot you're 120 degrees <laughs> <laughs> so yeah <laughs> that was like a little i guess you know not a rivalry but kind of like a, a camaraderie or something like that i guess that happened and uh yeah that was good in the end uh komi kind of got a little bit injured but tadano was there everyone was there to help her out and yeah everything was all well and good then we meet onemine san who is kind of like a big sister to everyone and Komi was getting a little bit envious and jealous because of that you know because of her talking with Tadano and everything like that <laughs> uh, which Onimini obviously be wasn't able to understand in the beginning but by the end of it she was able to understand and she was like you know what okay like <laughs> let me just back down <laughs> and uh, yeah that was that then then we go to get a Purikura picture you know and uh with the like you know like all the the whole crew kind of goes there all that stuff happens uh komi looks at a claw uh, not claw sorry crane game and he fancies one of the things which tadano kind of gets later on without letting her know and when he tries to give it to her he's she's like wait i already went and got there with najimi uh, got it from najimi so when since both of them have one they kind of exchange it and yeah, that was like a good thing, you know, like, uh, you know, like exchange, like they have both things that each of them had, like that type of thing. So yeah, <laughs> it was kind of cute in the end. So let's see what this episode brings. This is episode number 11. I still don't know how many episodes this season will have. Either 12, 13, or maybe this will be a two core anime. Who knows? But uh, yeah, let's just see. I'm sure they're going to give like, you know, kind of, we're going to get um some hints at least in this episode how many episodes this season will have we'll see so yeah let's get started i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's start so here's the countdown three two one go <clears throat> one one okay whoa what? Boy. Wait. What's happening? Oh, okay. Cultural, okay. Cultural festival, okay. So what are they, what are they trying to um, decide? Like, what they what their class is going to do? I think is that what they're planning? I think so. You know, like the, every class is supposed to do something, like any kind of thing, like maybe a stall, uh, maybe haunted house or something like that. Or maybe in the normal stall, you know, yakisoba stall or something like that. I still don't know why they did not actually announce how many episodes this will have. Like, it's almost like the end of the first core. Like, I don't get it. Like, 
probably we'll see like <laughs> okay it didn't work okay there's a lot of things written <laughs> oh great okay Najimi obviously <laughs> but yeah obviously that's something that I thought she would <laughs> haunted house <clears throat> Um, yeah, I guess. <coughs> wow. Yeah. Band. Okay. But it'll take a lot of preparations and stuff. <laughs> wow, Komi can... Komi singing. That's impossible. whack a -mole. Okay, everyone will whack her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Independent movie project. Oh, great. Western story. Yeah, that's why. <laughs> Imperial Guard. Onigiri. Okay. <laughs> uh. Obviously, everything that's competitive, you know? Yeah. Makeru-san? Oh, they have- she has a fan club. Onigashima Aoko. Okay. Who is this? Otaku Yuji, Otaku Yuji. Otaku-kun, he doesn't look like an otaku. <laughs> New character. Okay, shut up. Yes. <laughs> this part. So many suggestions. My God. But everyone suggests in something different. How can this be a vote? Like, what is this? <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, let's ask her. Exactly. Like. Like, be the, like, you know, break the tie. I wonder what Tadano said. Like, you know, Tadano's suggestion? <clears throat> Alright, let's see what she says. Meet cafe. Wait, really? Okay. I was not expecting that decision from her. Okay, there you go. Confirmed. <laughs> I'm I'm thinking everyone would have been happy with anything, you know, like which is related to Komi-san. Like beat anything. Okay, I'm really looking forward to the maid costume Komi is going to wear. <laughs> oh no, if Komi tries to go and do something, he'll probably let's see. There you go. Wait, who's this person? She doesn't even have a face. What? <laughs> what is this? Who is this? Is this a new character? Otori-san? Otori? What does that mean? Otori? Something related to sound? Or oh, Tori. Tori. Tori means a bird. Oto means sound. I think something related to sound. Let's see. <laughs> she's, she's kind of slow in talking. God. Well, obviously. 
Okay, all right. <laughs> I love the way she talks so slowly. <laughs> Okay. Oh my god, the whole class is going to go now. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Three of them went to it. That's good. Okay, I can see that she's kind of slow with everything. <laughs> she's, she's being left behind. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she's slow with everything she's answering the previous question <laughs> oh boy oh boy <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Wait. No. Okay. So she does everything slow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you invite me? Okay. Well, because she she had free time. Yeah, that works as well. Alright, a new friend. It's been a long while we've got a friend, actually. Um. During high school level... Okay, there you go. Yeah, I'm guessing... Everyone kind of treated her like they were treating her now, you know, like just like a god. Oh my god, you don't have to do anything. Just stay here. So she never was able to do anything. So yeah, it's good that she invited her. Whoa, whoa. Um, <laughs> leave that alone. <laughs> she's, she's kind of ditzy, isn't she? Like, kind of like floating in the air, that type of a character. <laughs> oh, she talked. Oh, yes. <laughs> She's just kind of weird in a nice way. <laughs> okay. Okay. Distributing flyers.
<laughs> wow. Yeah, she'll be very easily be able to do it. There you go. There you go. Just like that. I'm guessing this guy's also her childhood friend or something. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow I think I can do it. Okay. Um she is Oh my god, he's thinking she wants to eat. <laughs> Eight and she ate, okay. <laughs> Oh yeah, uh, the hairdresser. Okay, she'll be able to understand, I think. There you go. Ramen. Okay, the... <laughs> okay, he'll be also be able to understand. <laughs> Only one. What? Random. Oh, is that person you know from, from that episode? Komi and that kid? Is that kid, isn't it? Yeah. The kid who Komi was, you know, kind of making a smiling face. <laughs> yeah. He knows her, her that's why. Cool. cool. Coco? Okay. No! <laughs> Coco! <laughs> Wait, that's like a nickname that she got. <laughs> oh. Hmm. Oh my god. Wow. Get up, get to work. Okay, never mind. <laughs> oh, they're like which made who which is the one that Komi made? Wait, the square large, beautiful and small. Probably the small one? Strange. Okay. Nothing. I'm sure that's a lie. That's a lie. Wow. Well, obviously it's Yamai. Okay. No, I think that's Onimines. It's a bigger one. I think it's Onimines. Wait, or is it Komi's? I think it's Komi's. Okay. Yeah, it is Komi's. <laughs> okay, that's why she made it. A uh, square. Wow, so Yamai completely lied at that moment. It was neither the beautiful one nor the smaller one. Oh! Okay. She wanted the Victorian style. Yeah, obviously it won't be. Oh. She wanted the Victorian style maid outfit, but obviously no one would, like, you know, do that in a maid, uh, you know, maid cafe. What? Wait, who? Who is this? Maid, maid cafe connoisseur or something? Okay, there you go. Yeah, expert in tasks. His voice is very calming. What is this? Oh. <laughs> 
as expected of an expert. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Simple <word. laughs> Well, there you go. All the composure, everything gone. The way he talks. Okay, menu. <laughs> That's beyond cheerful. That's too cheerful. <laughs> there you go. A clumsy one, a, a, a chuny one, and obviously a sundare kind of. Yep. <laughs> he's tr he's trying to figure out what oh oh my god he's he's going to say he's like the sadistic sad sadistic type yeah <laughs> oh no oh, okay he's really depressed now <laughs> okay, there you go. Um <laughs> Well, she's not a Kudre as per se. Um Kudre no, she's she's probably a Dandre. Uh. Wait, really? What the? She even... Oh, that's a wig. I thought she died. He died. <laughs> what the? What's this? <laughs> oh, m mom is here. Wow! <laughs> okay, my god, Tadano. Well. <laughs> Shosuke. Oh, the brother. I was imagining, okay. Uncomfortable, so he left. Oh, it's a sister. Tadanos. It's Onechan now, you know? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> uh. <laughs> um okay mm. 
Nah, it's fine. <laughs> uh. <laughs> she realized what she said after writing it. She was like, wait, what did I just say? <laughs> I'm not this forward, am I? Oh, it, it's going to continue. Okay. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, that was, um, okay. That was surprising. I was not expecting, you know, something like that. Like suddenly Tadano also like, you know, dressing up. Okay. Uh, so today's episode was kind of fully uh, focused on the cultural festival. And we did make a new friend, I think. Mm, Oto, what was her name? Otori, Otori. Now, um, her name, Otori. Otori. I have to check it out. I think, obviously, Oto means sound and Tori is bird. So I don't know how that relates to the way she does stuff. Like, she's a bit slow with everything. Kind of, you know, a little bit ditzy. Kind of like that. So. I'm wondering what her name actually translates to. I'll check it out. And the other guy we met, um, what was his name? Tatsu, Tatsujin, something like that. I'll check it out. Okay, let's see. Is is he? I I, I wasn't able to find it out. It happened so quickly. Okay, just a second. Let me check. Is Otori in the ending scene? Okay, um... <coughs> okay, let's check. Uh, is she in here? Why is she not in... Oh, there she is! <laughs> She's almost at the front. <laughs> I wasn't able to actually... Oh, Onimin is here as well. Okay. Um, wait. Oh yeah, Onimina kind of also became her friend in this episode. They did not say, like, you know, um, but kind of. When uh, Otori also said that, oh, Onimina, we are also friends, aren't we? And she's like, yeah. So, all right, two new friends <laughs> after a long time. So, okay, so this episode. Um, oh, first of all, let me check. Uh, Otori, Otori, the name, uh, the meaning of her name. Uh, Otori. Otori Kaede. Oh, that's her name. Otori Kaede. Kaede. Um, anyways, let's check. Okay, here it is. Her name Otori means ladylike or gentle or quiet. Oh. Oh, I did not know that meaning. I did not know Otori also meant that. Like, I thought Oto and uh, Tori, like, Oto is, like, you know, sound and Tori is bird. So, okay. Otori means ladylike or gentle or quiet uh okay that makes sense you know like she's so quiet and everything not quiet but she's a bit slow with everything kind of did see a little bit uh <clears throat> and uh okay uh okay so the guy the maid master uh okay what was his name let me check his name first i don't even remember his name like it's something with Tatsu. Tatsuhito Asado. Tatsuhito Asado. Okay. Uh, Tatsuhito Asado. I don't know if he has. No, he doesn't have a page. Uh, for him. Uh, I'm guessing he's one of the minor characters. Probably come like you know like one or two times. Um. Okay. Tatsuhito Asado. Tatsu. Tatsu. Uh, Tatsu Hito, Hito, Tatsu. Ah, no, I am unable to, you know, kind of. Wait, he's 32 years old? He doesn't look like it. He looks quite young. What the? He's a lot older than everybody here. Okay. All right, anyways. um. <clears throat> Okay, so this episode here, we start with the whole uh, voting thing with everyone is like, oh, we want to do something, but that should definitely like, you know, be related to Komi-san and everyone's like suggesting stuff. The first suggestion from Najimi obviously made cafe 
and a lot of other suggestions as well haunted house obviously because yamai you know like it, it would help yamai to do her <laughs> like you know the weird stuff that she usually does so that was yamai's suggestion and a few others as well like the band thing and uh whack-a-mole was weird i have to say like obviously no one would do that <laughs> you know like who would even do that like i doubt the <laughs> the school would even uh you know permit that like you know like whack-a-mole with the students what is that <laughs> um only kind of talks about having an onigiri stand and all that stuff and uh like a dojin fair um Onigashima says that uh, a fortune telling one. <clears throat> All that. Okay. Uh, oh, we also get a new character here. His name is Otaku Yuji, which is very much like, you know, his name kind of gives up what he is like. He's an otaku. Uh, so, Otaku kun, he doesn't look like an otaku, but. <laughs> But yeah, he, he 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 likes these type of stuff, and uh, obviously uh, the other girl. What's what's her name? Uh, the one who's from the countryside. Um, I forgot her name. Anyways, um, that girl. She says like the disco party, obviously because you know <laughs> she wants to be more uh, accustomed to all of this, like you know everything in the city. Mm. So yeah, like everyone was like you know like like. <laughs> Kind of fussing about what they're going to do but nobody asked komi like what guys come on <laughs> uh, tardano does that eventually tardano's like okay you know what what is your decision and she decides to have a maid uh cafe which i was really surprised about i did not think she would choose that but i feel like komi chose that because she was kind of interested in like you know uh like you know wearing a maid outfit a victorian maid outfit not this a maid outfit this is like you know the maid outfit that uh, in maid cafe people wear and that's definitely not a victorian maid outfit victorian maid outfit is something which is a lot more what you know like like the skirts are longer like you know like it's like they have long sleeves and everything it, it looks more dignified and refined that's like a victorian maid you know like the actual maid outfit not the whole japanese maid culture not that you know the actual maid outfit that you know victorian um like maid outfit is called so that one she wanted to wear and i have to say and the little um scene after that when she says that i want to wear a maid uh i want a maid cafe where is it okay yeah the little scene where we see her standing you know with a little box with the glasses uh wearing the like you know long skirt maid outfit that was i i really i i would have really liked if she actually wore that like you know like like obviously the, the maid outfit she wears later on was definitely really nice as well but i would have preferred to actually see her in that outfit like that looks really amazing on her you know the little glasses that she wears like full sleeved full like you know the skirt full with a little bun in her uh, hair you know with with the, the little hair uh, uh thing that the maids wear that looks amazing oh my god unfortunately i doubt we'll, we're going to see that uh, <laughs> But yeah. Okay, that was that. The whole you know, decision. Then obviously everyone's like, okay, let's do the maid cafe. Like, <laughs> was it so difficult, guys? You could have just asked Komi. <laughs> uh, but yeah. And then uh, <clears throat> the next scene. Obviously everyone is doing stuff. Komi wants to help, but everyone's like, you know what? You're the god here. Just you know, just you don't have to do anything. Let us handle everything. But obviously Komi doesn't want that. Komi wants to be involved in everything because she has always been treated like this, some kind of a person on a pedestal. She doesn't want that. She just wants to have a normal life, <laughs> which obviously no one understands. But Otori, a new character, Otori comes. Uh, Otori is Kaede. She says that, okay, let's just go and do stuff. And we can see what Otori is like. She's very happy type of a character you know like she's always smiling like you know like very quiet and as as her name implies quiet ladylike um and she you know does stuff a little bit slower and more calmly and coolly but she understands a lot of more stuff like you know, a lot of stuff more than other people because she was able to when komi said that why did you uh, invite me she said that oh i thought that what did she say I thought that you wanted to join or something like that. Um, just a second. Where is that part? 
Okay, yeah, there you go. Uh, seeing you with Tadano and others made me want to be your friend too. Okay, yeah. She says she basically says that yeah, I wanted to also be your friend, so I just invited you to join me and you know like do stuff as friends, like you know as friends hang out and stuff. And yeah, and even though she's a little bit you know kind of did see a little bit <laughs> you know like. A weird type of a personality she kind of does stuff at her own pace and everything a little bit slower than everyone and kind of sometimes disappears from where she is and does something completely random <laughs> but yeah she she's, she looks like a fun character and a, a really nice person <clears throat> and i have to say i really like her voice her voice really matches her you know um her personality and everything like i have to applaud like you know like this is also another um what do you call it accomplishment that nobody usually thinks about like the people who actually decide which character to give which voice actor to which character and like you know like make it more um you know uh what do you call it like kind of associating the personality with the voice like the people who decide that that oh this character like obviously these are all manga characters like you know the the author kind of makes the manga writes draws the manga makes the story and gives the character's personality now the, obviously there are when it gets an anime adaptation obviously there are people who decide you know what this person has this personality so i think this voice actor or voice actors would be good for that person and you know like I have to say, like, that's like one of the biggest, uh, you know, things in anime, which we never talk about, like the voice being associated with a certain character. Um, it's perfect in, in most of the animes that I've seen. Every character has which has like a certain personality, certain quirk, their voice actor or voice actress match perfectly with them. And that's like one of the accomplishments that nobody talks about. And I'm really glad that uh, this girl with this personality had this type of a voice this type of a calm soothing you know kind of like a ditzy little voice and it's it's perfect obviously like props to the voice actor or voice actresses as well because they're able to kind of bring that out so easily you know like i've seen a lot of voice actor voice actors does so many amazing stuff with their voice that nobody would ever be uh, ever be able to imagine like you know like like their vocal range is insane you know japanese voice actor it's insane the way they can change their voice so much that you wouldn't be able to understand which person like you know like like this character and this character both of their voices are so different but they're voice acted by the same person like that really shows their vocal ranges and everything so props to them as well like it's just so great i love her voice uh otori's voice it like you know uh, fits perfectly with her <clears throat> and i like her character design as well you know like she's she kind of looks like uh, Tadano's sister a little bit, you know, like especially her hairstyle in the top. And there's little, I don't know what those are, like little things. The way, like, you know, her hair is. I really like that hairstyle. And she's always with a little smile in her face. <laughs> yeah, it's good. I, I really like Otori. And yeah, we get a new friend, like Otori kind of talks with Komi. Uh, she does her usual weird stuff as well kind of taking the chainsaw looking at the stuff <laughs> you know like uh, entrance all that stuff that she does kind of did see a little bit but yeah she's a good person and she wants to be friends she also like you know also tells onimi that oh i'm also your friend aren't, aren't i and it's like yeah yeah you're my friend <laughs> so that automatically medically makes onimi komi's friend as well so two new friends yes after quite a long while you know so yeah, that was that. And then we get the whole distribution of uh, flyers thing. Uh, Komi is trying to distribute, but you know, like a lot of people aren't able to understand what she's trying to say and everything. So she starts with the people that she knows, uh, the hairdresser. And obviously she understood very easily what she's trying to do, the ramen place and the lady with the kid, which she met before. <clears throat> and <laughs> the kid actually gives a Komi a new name. Coco, I think that's what he called. Yeah, Coco. Uh, I wonder if that'll be like her official nickname or something. Like you know, Komi's uh, nickname, Coco. Will everyone start calling her Coco after this? I I'm talking about the closer friends, you know, like uh, like Tadano, uh, Najimi. Maybe they'll start calling her Coco after this. <laughs> That'll be kind of nice, you know. But yeah. 
Okay, and then the whole onigiri section of <laughs> that scene was fantastic. They were doing it like a, you know those those type of um, I think those mental games where they give us a few testimonies and everything. There's like oh I saw this person doing that, and then there's another one a person who's like oh the like you know like they were giving hints as to which. <laughs> <laughs> which uh, you know onigiri was made by who and you have to also associate their personality with their statements because obviously yamai was giving them a statement but that was completely lie because obviously she she wouldn't tell the truth so all that stuff like you know taking that into consideration you know if you actually sit down and take all their testimonies and think about it for five or ten minutes i'm i'm sure everyone would be able to guess which one komi did and uh, but obviously they gave us the answer after that you know uh, Tadano takes up the bigger one the square one and she started eating it eating it and from that we obviously were able to understand that Yamai is a liar obviously she completely lied she said that uh, you know like Komi did the beautiful one or the small one or something like that she said and that was a full-on lie it just <laughs> she, she just didn't want anyone to eat Komi's thing so yeah, they're probably saving it for herself. But Tadano got it before. <laughs> and it does make sense, you know, like... As they said, Komi didn't make uh, onigiris before this. So she kind of made it a little bit bigger and squarish, you know. <clears throat> okay, and then the maid cafe starts. We meet the new character, Tatsu... What was his name? Tatsuhito, yeah. Oh, I understand now. Uh, what is the meaning of his name? Tatsuhito Asado. Um, Tatsujin. Tatsujin means expert. So that's why his name is Tatsuhito. Like the one who's expert or something like that. I'm guessing that's his name. That's his name. Mean. Yeah. Tatsujin means expert and Tatsuhito. Okay. Hito means human and Tatsu, I'm guessing expert. Like something like that. So. Okay. And this guy. He he's a maid cafe connoisseur, something like that, an expert or whatever. He goes to places and kind of, you know, like uh, <laughs> uh, what what do you say? Like kind of tries to, you know, judge that not judge but give points, rank the places. Uh, but obviously because he's an otaku and uh, like you know, whenever he gets in, he kind of reverts back to his original personality. <laughs> like he was all so cool and everything before coming, and as soon as Najimi comes, he's like, oh, thank you. And gets in kind of blushes <laughs> and yeah okay and uh all right he gets a seat and he kind of starts uh like you know like assigning the different characters character uh, uh, archetypes for example um uh nakanaka is obviously her chunibyo like you know personality she's a chuni character chunibyo character um <clears throat> agari uh, with her clumsiness, Dojiko, Doji means clumsy, Dojiko and Ko means girl, so Dojiko, Dojiko character. Um, Sundre, obviously, uh... okay, here's the thing, um, he called um, <laughs> Yamai a Sundre, which is completely wrong, first of all. It looks like she's an actual Sundari because she doesn't care about people except Komi. But in actual reality, she's a Yandere. So she basically is a Sundari on the outside for other people. And for Komi, she's a Yandere. She's, she's a mix of two characters, basically. So, and it's, it's not just Sundari. Like, Sundaris are actually characters who have, like, you know, who's kind of uh, act stuff, kind of acts like a, a way that, yeah, I don't like you, that type of thing. But in, in the inside, if he or she likes that person, that type of a thing, this whole con, like you know, this whole uh, gap moi, as they call it, that's a sundre. Yama is not a sundre. Yama really doesn't like people other than Komi. That's not a sundre. There is no dere here. It's hundred percent soon. Not even soon. Like she, she, she just doesn't have any care. Like so, yeah, wrong. <laughs> You're not. <laughs> your expertise falls short here. <laughs> Yama is not a sundre. She, for Yo, Komi, she's a Yandere, and for other people, she's just, I don't know, like, she just doesn't like people, that's just her. So yeah, that's not a Sundre. <laughs> but you actually need to, you know, associate with her for you to actually realize that she is not a Sundre, because if, if I actually met, uh, uh, you know, Yamai for the first time and she was acting like this, you know, I, if I had to put her in an archetype, I would also probably put her in the Sundre category, because, you know, like, first impressions. 
But if you get to know Yamai, she's not a Sundra, she's something completely different. She's 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 a, she's a demon. <laughs> You know, for Komi, she's a yandere, and for everyone else, she just doesn't care. So that's Yamai. So, yeah. And, um, uh, Najimi, Genki Ko. Genki means, like, you know, excited, you know, and Ko obviously means girl. So she's one of the excited characters. Now, I was actually wondering what he was going to assign Komi. At first, I thought, like, on the way Komi was looking at him like that, I thought she was he was going to say something like, oh, she is more of the sadistic type of an archetype or something like that. But he did not say anything like that. He just said that, oh, I'm, you know, he <laughs> just got a little bit scared and intimidated at that moment. And he was like, okay, like, I've eaten, let me just leave. <laughs> and then he goes out. Komi and Yamai, uh, not Yamai, sorry, Najimi says that, okay, just tell him that, yeah, like, uh, come back again. And Komi does that. And he he says that, okay, wait a minute, maybe I was a bit harsh in judging her. Um, she she is a Kudre. Now, again, I think she, obviously Komi is not a Kudre. That's wrong. It's completely wrong. But for someone to actually see her for the first time, they would say that he, he, she's a Kudre. Like, uh, for people who, I'm sure everyone knows what a Kudre is. Uh, like kudre is ku means school and dere means dere like you know like, like the whole dere thing so kudre like a person who acts cool in the outside but in the inside it's kind of nice and really like you know wants to associate with people that type of character there's a lot of um like you know what do you call it uh examples of kudre um uh can't uh, well, it's been a while that i've actually seen a kudre yeah okay there are quite a few kudres yeah but for example um oh um uh, from evangelion um what's her name the girl ray no ray that was her name yeah ray ayanami ray she's a kudre she's one of the biggest examples of a kudre you can say and uh yeah a few others as well like from angel beats you know the main girl i think her name was kaide or something the white-haired girl she's also a kudre so yeah, that's that's her, and that's that's the type of character a Kudre is. But Komi is not that. If I have to actually put her in a category, I would put Komi in a Dandre category because Dandres are basically kind of they are quiet and shy, and they usually don't can't aren't able to express themselves, but they really like the person. Uh, one of the biggest example of Dandre is Hinata from uh, Naruto. That's a Dandre. And Komi is obviously a Dandre, she's not a Kudre, definitely not. So, yeah. Oh, and then we get the, <laughs> one of the most surprising scene, Tadano um, dressing up in, as a girl. Like, wow, I was not expecting something like that. And he really looks nice, I have to say. Komi's mom comes, Komi's brother comes, and everyone's obviously just like her sister, you know. Uh, yeah, just like his sister, everyone is kind of like, oh my god, this is so amazing, this person is so amazing, like, you know. As soon as he gets in, everyone puts him in the god seat. <laughs> the family of gods. <laughs> oh, and then Tadano's sister comes. Uh, and he's like, she's like, Oni-chan, where are you? And then he gets in and he's like, wait a minute, this is not Oni-chan. <laughs> this is Oni-chan. <laughs> oh god. And yeah, Tada no Komi then have a little bit of a conversation. Komi says that you look nice. And yeah, that's the end. And it, it's going to continue in the next episode, I'm guessing. Wow, that's good. Now, I have no idea where, how many episodes this uh, season will have. Um, either 12 or 13 or maybe it will have two cores, like maybe 24 episodes. Who knows? Like, I don't think they even meant... Have they still mentioned how many uh, episodes this will have? The last time I checked, they did not mention. No, they have not mentioned. What is? It's really weird that they have still not mentioned how many episodes this will have. Like, oh, it ha it will have twelve episodes. Like in my anime list, it's not written how many episodes it will have. But in the forums, I can see people saying that there will be twelve episodes. Okay. Uh, yeah, it'll be twelve episodes. So. so so the next episode is the last one. Oh, okay. All right. So yeah, surely we'll have a new season later on. I'm sure of it because Komi is very popular. 
so anyways that was it guys that was my reaction to come we can't communicate episode number 11 if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know and i'll check them out so yeah that's it guys so thank you guys for watching so i'll be seeing you guys in the next week with another episode of come we can't communicate most probably that will be the final episode of the season we still don't know but i think it will be the final episode so see you guys to, uh, next week until then goodbye and have a nice day